going down to Mr. Gray's to have myself a time. And we got it everywhere. She's going down to Mr. Gray's to leave my woes behind. Ghost and cryptids everywhere. Eating something. Ah! She's going down to Mr. Gray's to see if I can unwind. <laughs> Come on down to Mr. Gray's and meet some friends of mine. Getting scraggly. Hey guys, it's Down for World of Mr. Grey, Dandalf the Grey. I took a few days off because I'm really tired. Work has been busy. Work has actually been doing my bloody editing, but uh, we won't go there. First of all, thank you for all the no newcomers I've seen come over the last couple of days. Um, very appreciated. And we're going to go through the comments now in a bit. Good and bad, because there, there have been some bad ones. But we like them. We like them. <laughs> but first off, I want to firstly say thank you, thank you to everyone who's continues to sub to my Patreon. I do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. And also, thanks to everyone who's bought a t-shirt. Not this one. This one's awesome, by the way, but not this one. But, and, the, and the, to the one person who bought a mug. <laughs> Very much appreciated. I did I had no idea um, they were going to sell at all when, um, when I put it up. I only put it up because a few of you asked for it. And I'm actually going to buy one myself, even though I do own one. It's That's the OG one. I'm going to actually buy one from that myself. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what... I'm, I'm not going to go for a black one. I'm going to go for, like... I don't know. I don't know. I very much appreciate uh, everyone who's uh, bought one so far. But anyway, I thought I'd go through the comments, because there's been quite a few the last couple of days, which I have, I have been looking, and the, the odd one or two I've answered back, but... I prefer to answer things like this because I can express myself more better. <laughs> I meant <laughs> I can express myself better, not more better. More wrong. So anyway, I'm just going to go as many as I can. This might be a long video. Who knows? You know what it's like sometimes. Sometimes it's just shortish. Sometimes it's bloody long. Steve H. We'll begin with says, and it was on one of the videos, my last couple of videos. Come here, which one? Just came across your reaction at last. A proper reaction video. We don't do reactions here. Don't use the word reaction. <laughs> Breakdown and analysis. I know I was titling them like reactions at first. I know I was. But I tend to think this a bit more than reaction videos. Nothing against them. It's, you know, it's fine. But I think these are a bit more than reaction. Because we sometimes deep dive into those things we react into. But anyway, I'm digressing halfway through the bloody comment. Right, at last, a proper reaction video with the same views as me regarding so-called ghost videos. So Spooks and Snap Time just show terrible clips and the commentary on said clips are even worse. Nukes Top 5 are pretty good, but most ghost clips can be explained due to being fake. But glad you were honest about them and not fake shocked. So thanks. I, um, I, I try to be as honest as I can here. You know, those who know me here, they know I like, I don't beat about the bush. I do try to be honest. The other kind of videos where they like, you know, where they do the thumbnail. What's the thumbnail they always do? You know, it serves an audience. I, I don't like, I don't do fake uh, shock. You know, <laughs> fake scared. But yes, I appreciate it and thank you for the comments. Lorinda Nomikos. I do apologize if I'm saying that uh, name incorrectly. Did, did you know that Amazon Prime lists Ghost Hunter videos as documentaries? This interests me. This does interest me because... Who was it? Um, Amazon Prime. Because someone said mine see that the bloody... Uh, had a documentary on there. I have no idea. But yeah, it is interesting when I um, see things like the Ghost Hunting channel, or shows I should say, as documentaries. I mean, I suppose technically they are. Technically, it's doc documenting their experience or adventure, ghost adventure, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what would be classed as a documentary. What is it? What is it? Let's have a look. What's the dictionary term for documentary? Consisting of or based on official documents. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it shouldn't be called documentary then. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Lorinda again, actually, because it's an interesting one. They, and they commented on the, um, what was it? The one where I talked about should channels be who stage or lie about real events be demonetized? I wasn't 
trying to demonetize anyone, but it was just a question someone asked. And they say, I think they should at least use a disclaimer. Too many people buy these fantasies. I used to think it was all good and fun until I started to see these crazy conspiracies popping up that have become a danger in this pandemic and a danger to democracy itself. It's not fun anymore. I agree on that part. I definitely agree on the danger aspect of things. You know, if someone says to do certain, you should do this to fight this disease. And it turns out it's bloody horse medicine or whatever the hell the shit is going around right now. Don't do that. Do not take horse medicine. <laughs> you know? But yeah, um, as far as when I, when the YouTube thing, um, these paranormal entertainment paranormal channels, I, I definitely think they should have a disclaimer because because people sometimes say to me in the comments, and I see in other channels as well where they where they say, oh, why are you trying to debunk this? It's like going to the movies. It's like paying for a movie or watching the TV show. It's it's not. You don't you don't go to watch Inception by Christopher Nolan and you know he says based on a true story because you know it's not <laughs> you know you don't go to the movies to watch Star Wars expecting hmm, this is going to be some true shit I'm about to see right now so that's the difference when someone says real ghost caught on camera real and it turns out it's not they're lying to you it's as simple as that but I'm not going to get into that again because I've gone over that many times <laughs> Tosif Kyra apologies if I'm saying that wrong all these guys trying so hard to debunk it. I'm assuming she's talking about the ghost. <laughs> Not realizing the laws of physics don't apply in the spirit world. How do you know? How do you know? Who told you this? Who told you the laws of physics don't apply in the spirit world? I'd like to know. Did you read a scientific paper on that? I'd like to know where you got that information first before I agree or disagree with you. <laughs> Thank you for the comment. I'm still hot in it, but still. It's ridiculous. Uh, Ruminating15 says, and they commented on a debunking video I done almost a year ago. Uh, when you get nasty comments like the one in this video, I can't. I don't know what the comment is. I c could look, I suppose, but just I'm probably rambling and have that bloody video. Uh, like the one in this video, it makes you want to debunk these videos even more. It's almost like you're tearing apart their passion and happiness or something. I believe in the occult and paranormal, but roll my eyes in almost every ghost video on YouTube that comes from big channels. They have to pump out videos for a paycheck, so they are willing to upload fakes just to get views. Like I always say, and I had to put this out, my, my disclaimer in my bio of the about page of this YouTube channel you're watching right now, that, that I, uh, I wrote that particular one almost a year ago. And I think it says, hang on, let me, let me double check. This is my disclaimer, which I have in the about page. And I know not everyone goes to the about page, I know, but I'm not debunking the paranormal or UFOs or aliens. I try to debunk videos that falsely claim to be or are misunderstanding and anything else to do with anything weird. I am an open skeptic. See? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna start putting them in the beginning of the videos. I, I probably won't bring put in this one because it's a comment video. But I'm gonna start putting that in the beginning of the videos, I think, because I think Sometimes people just think I'm being an asshole, and I always say I'm not being an asshole. I just enjoy breaking things down. Not not breaking, but you know, if I see a video and I can see like a mask or a string or an effect, I like to. Th I, I and you know, even the ones which stump me for a bit. I'm one of those ones when I see a video. I'm not trying to uh, ruin anyone's. Um, how can I say it? <laughs> passion or happiness? Like ruminate and say I'm not. I'm not actually not trying to spoil anyone's day. If I see a video and I think, right, how is that done? And that's when I'll start going through it and I think, hmm, interesting. I can see that effect there. And that's when I start breaking things down. That's, that's just what I enjoy doing. I could do that with uh, like movie clips or something, but it just so happens. I, en I enjoy paranormal stuff. And when I see a video of like someone's t-shirt being pulled in a gravestone, grave pit or whatever the hell you call it, I like to know how it's done. You know, I like I like to look at it and analyze it, and that's that's what I enjoy doing. I don't do it to be an arsehole, I really don't. And I think some people think I do, just to be a bloody troll or something. I'm not. I really not. I don't get personal in any any of these videos. At least I don't think I do. I shall move on before I dig myself into a hole. <laughs> uh, I'll just say that Ma Kokoru. I'm no. I know I'm butchering that uh, thing. I need to say this because <laughs> I made a mistake recently. In Brazil, the people don't speak Spanish, it is Portuguese. Now, why, as soon as he gets flipped, the ball starts moving. Talking about uh, the, the the gym ghost video I did. I made a mistake in that video and I said Brazilians speak Spanish. 
I know they speak Portuguese. I, 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 I'm Welsh. What can I say? I do, I do know they speak Portuguese for some reason. At that little, uh, that few minutes I was talking about it, my brain had a blip, and I said they speak Spanish. I know they speak Portuguese, so I apologise to any Brazilians watching. Move on. <laughs> and Jason Lee, I'm, I'm going to answer this, and even though I've answered this kind of question a lot, but I'm going to answer it again for those who don't see. What's some videos that have stumped you or lost, stumped or lost for words? Got to be a video where you like either it's real or I can't figure out how it's done. Uh, definitely in the I can't figure out how it is done camp. I've only seen a handful of videos where I think I'm not sure how that's done. I know it's I know it's bullshit because I can see you know the way they're acting on screen or whatever. But if I just say it's bullshit, people don't like that. They want to see you prove it's bullshit. That's why I always you know for those particular. Small amount of um, videos where I can't quite debunk it. It's not because I think it's real. It's because I just it's just not enough to go on. You know, it could be a video of someone or like a corner of a room with a cupboard door opening, but you can't see the top or the bottom, and you know you can't see off camera. You know, I can't debunk that, but that doesn't mean there's nobody there pulling something, opening something, that kind of video. But yeah. I'm going to ask, answer this question because this is another thing I always state that I can't do. <laughs> but I'm going to answer the question anyway as best I can. I'm not answer it, but I'm going to say why I can't answer it. Model Maverick says, could you help me? I'm actually being serious. Would you be able to explain to me that so that I can can debunk what I seen when I was five and I seen women. I seen women. Women. Why am I failing right now? Not sure. Probably four or five of them. Really old looking clothes, dressed, dresses they were going back into the woods through the weeds saying they had to go home. I could not go with them. My parents saw me down by the weeds but didn't see anybody with me. Yours down 15 or 14 or 15 years old. I wake up to a ghost staring at my feet. Kid you not look like Jesus. But I couldn't see the face of hands or feet. She other years later. <laughs> I see a red flannel shirt fly out my bathroom and disappear into the kitchen. Nobody else was home. We was I've ne there's no there is no full stops here. We was remodeling. Then a couple of years later at my grandma's house, I seen red eyes that looked like they came from a demon on the ceiling, but nothing was around it. it I didn't get scared of them. I didn't feel anything from them the next morning. I looked and there was nothing there. But right, that kind of thing, I can't. I just can't debunk. This is why I try to state. Every now and again, I, I can't debunk anything f from your personal experience. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. It's as simple as that. I mean, I could give an example of like ones where, um, if you wake up at night and you see something at the bottom of your bed, I could say that's possible sleep paralysis. I suffer very briefly from sleep sleep paralysis, um, about once or twice a year. I do it. I I don't have it to the extreme where I see things. <laughs> Because that would scare the shit out of me. But I do have it uh, from time to time where, like, I'm w I'll wake up and I can't move. And it sort of feels like a pressure on my neck or, or something. It's weird. But um, that's about as far as my sleep paralysis goes. And I've had it for a couple of years now. And I, like I said, it only happens once or twice, maybe three times a year. But now I've got to the point, thankfully, where I wake up and like, shit, I can't move. And then a couple of seconds later, I'll realise what's happening. So I'll just, okay, I'm having one of those bloody sleep paralysis things. So I just wait it out. It's it's still uncomfortable. And it's still you still always get that, like, presence of some, thinking something's near you. But that's, for me, that's sleep paralysis. But like I said, going on a tangent. <laughs> that's the only thing I could suggest for the thing where you saw something at the bottom of your bed. Anything else, I don't know. I'm not there. Like I said, I can never debunk personal experiences. I'm just not there. But thank you for the comment. Once again, from Liu by Liu 42. You're not really, not really debunking the paranormal. You're debunking fake shite. There is a difference. Like I keep saying, check my bio and the about page. <laughs> but thank you for the comment. Mr. Wright says, I don't understand his accent, but I love him. But Mr. Wright surely can't be Mr. Wrong, can he? <laughs> it's a Welsh accent. Not an English accent like some people think. <laughs> and not a Scottish accent. What other accents that some people think I'm speaking? German, Dutch, um, Irish, a few people have asked. All fine accents, by the way, but no, I'm a, I'm a Welsh. Welsh accent. Harsh Welsh accent. 
but thank you for the comment. <laughs> I haven't seen a comment like this for a while, I must admit. But I used to get these quite a lot, but I haven't seen for a while. Stop talking and get on with it. You must be new here. <laughs> Paul Kahlberg says, uh, interesting comment by the way. Four years ago there were 120 videos of ghosts and paranormal events. Today there are well over a million videos on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube. The views and clicks for money keep rolling in because of the demand. Four years ago there were maybe five cursed dolls for sale on eBay. Today well over a thousand. I believe there are strange things that happen in this world, but not every event is real, and most of them can be explained. I didn't catch this one, but I thought it was entertaining to watch. Thanks for the breakdown. And yeah, Paul Karlberg says an ex excellent point, which I have mentioned myself a few times, um, which is I always say, especially with TikTok, someone makes a spooky ghost video, it gets the views, you see a thousand other videos exactly like it, and, and Paul says the exact same thing, and I, and I totally agree with him. A couple of years ago, You'd find the odd couple, you know, 100 odd um, paranormal videos. And now, like you said, there's probably millions across TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And I fully agree. Like I said, if one video becomes viral or popular, you will see about 50 other videos in that same week do exact same shit. And that's what happens with TikTok. <laughs> Sam and Fam. <laughs> I, li I like this comment because it's, it's perfect. You're wrong because I want to believe it's real, and you're right, that means it's not real. And I can't accept that because the existence of the paranormal is oddly comfort into my psyche, and I will therefore believe in it with all the faith in the world, out of pure convenience. I, I'm, all, I'm all for someone believing in something. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me what you believe. You know, if, like I always say, if you, if you believe in something which gives you hope, I'm not going to go against that. Why would I? Why would I be the arsehole that says, how dare you believe in that? You have no hope. <laughs> Who's gonna be that guy? I have no problem with anyone believing in whatever they want, whatever they want to believe. Like I always say, I'm not trying to debunk your beliefs. I will never do. I will never do that. How, how bloody arrogant and egotistical would I be to try and debunk your beliefs? I, I just don't do that. I, I always say I'm just doing little breakdowns and videos. That's all I do. But I like the comments. Scotters, <laughs> Scott, you Z says, and it was in one of the debunker videos, and I think he's probably, because pretty much in the, um, where I shout out Mask, was in the Really Haunted. By the way, I've got asked quite a lot over the last couple of days if I've covered Really Haunted. I've covered Really Haunted about three times, where I've pointed out masks, where he's inserting masks. But anyway, there are in other videos. But Scott, shouting out Masks just before the action proves nothing, you pleb. <laughs> Other than you know when she's going to move. Show us where the mask is inserted or shut up. Firstly, a heart. Scott, I, I pointed out in that video um, where, you know, the reason I shouted mask is because I was pointing out exactly where the mask is inserted. Now, unfortunately, if if you can't see that, open your goddamn eyes! <laughs> you probably, you, you're probably the kind of person who watches Columbo and is absolutely shocked by who the identity of the killer is at the end of the, the episode. But thank you for the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when someone says you, you're just shouting bollocks. I mean, in the breakdown analysis ones, yes. Sometimes I just shout bollocks, but I do try to explain what I can see. But in the debunking ones, I think I always bloody show it. And if you can't see it, it's not my problem you can't see it. Even though I point bloody arrows, circles, I'm pointing at it in the bloody camera. What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Slay School, and again says the same thing where I went over earlier. You're not doing this reaction thing right. You're supposed to completely overreact, overreact and say stuff like, oh, oh my god, mate. <laughs> Jump out of your chair and pull stupid faces of the camera. Like I said, I, I can't do that. <laughs> it might work for other people. It doesn't work for me. I'm just as honest as the, as the day is long. Or as the day is cold, I should say. No, someone's gone, apparently. Right, Alan Rhodes... Interesting question. It says, I have a question. If ghosts do exist, whether they do or not is up for the debate. What would convince you that the footage that you're seeing is genuine, no masks, maybe even poltergeist activity of things being thrown around or moved? If you can't explain how it was done, if a magician looked at the footage and couldn't recreate it, if it was done on different cameras from different angles with high quality and not locked off, if it was also captured on thermal imaging camera, 
if you saw the raw footage to rule out digital effects, would that convince you that whatever it is that's causing whatever activity is happening is real? I know this has never been done, and I suspect I know why, but I suppose, just suppose it was. That is an interesting question, and a hard question, if you ask me, because I know, like, I'm no expert. I always I always state I'm, I'm an expert in nothing. <laughs> I've, just had, I've just had various years of experience of doing certain things, messing around with certain things, so I've picked up knowledge over the years, but I am an expert in nothing, right? When it comes to video, um, I've, I've, I've been, not debunking, but I've been breaking down, I've been looking at videos since, since the, since the, when I used to watch movies in the late, you know, from the late 80s onwards. I used to watch, I used to watch films as a kid. I'd enjoy the film for one, but then I'd usually watch them back and think, right, how did they do that? I was a weird little kid when it came to movies like that. I always enjoyed watching movies and thinking, all right, how did that, how did they do that effect? How did they do that? Is that a special effect? Is that live action? I always enjoyed doing that. And I've still, to this day, I do that when I watch movies. I'll be in the movie, but at the same time, my brain can't stop thinking, right, I think I know how they did that, but I'm going to forget about that for now and watch the rest of this movie. So I know, not know, like I said, for a fact, but I know when I'm looking at something on YouTube, I know f I know for a fact that it how easy it is to do this special effects stuff and fake stuff. I know how easy that is. Not easy, that's the wrong word to use. I know how it can be done if you're, if you're knowledgeable in that kind of thing. So when it comes to videos, I, I don't know, I don't know. It'd have to be... The only thing which would convince me myself, someone from the Victorian era was just standing right there, right now. Are you gonna do it? There's nothing there. But if someone from the Victorian era or something suddenly appeared right there in front of me. I'd go to the doctors first and have my head checked, but if my head was fine, I'd be convinced, <laughs> right? I'd be absolutely convinced, 100%. When it comes to videos, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what would convince me with the videos, even if, like you said, a magician looked at the footage and couldn't recreate it. Magicians are clever, very extremely clever. James Randi, Darren Brown. Uh, and others, I can't remember their names. You, you, if you saw how good they were, Darren Brown especially, at recreating certain things, and he has recreated paranormal activity before. It's hard to answer when it comes to video, I should say. Like I said, when it comes to anything on the screen, it is so easy to manipulate anything you're looking at on screen. Uh, you, you could be looking at me right now, and I might not actually be here. I might All that stuff behind me, you might be green screen, you don't know that. You don't know that. It's not, because <laughs> I, I haven't got a green screen. But it could be green screen. You just would never know 100% if the, that background over there was real. And that's the problem with vi when you're looking at a 2D image, you know, because the videos at the end of the day are 2D images. Even if it was multiple angles, you could still manipulate things to have multiple angled effects. Even move in. You got tracking in um, like Adobe Premiere, Adobe Effects, or Adobe After Effects. You can 3D track um, video now quite quite easily. Even someone with the min most minimal amount of skill when it comes to like video making, video editing, video special effects can 3D track something. And once you know how that 3D track works, you can do it from that angle, you can do it from that angle, you can do it from that angle. It doesn't matter. This is why. When it comes to videos, it's, I don't. I honestly can't answer that correctly. How if it would convince me if I saw something on a video? Because my mind was always would always be thinking whether it was moving, locked off, multiple camera angles, or what. My mind would always be thinking, right? How did they do that? It's just the way my brain works. I, <laughs> unfortunately, like I said, to convince me, it, it would have to appear right in front of me right now. Maybe not right, 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 right now, but. It would have to appear in front of me and I would have to go to the doctor to get my head checked first and then, if my head is fine, <laughs> then that would convince me. That's the only thing I can say to that, but I do like that comment. I'm going to make this last comment the last one, <laughs> hence the last comment, because it's getting long now, but I'll have to make a part two of this because there's a lot of comments to go over, a lot of really interesting comments I do want to go over, but this is the final one I'm going to think. And I answered him a couple of days ago, but this is one I want to go over. Because I found it interesting. JLo says, <laughs> this they're talking on the one where I, I debunked the t-shirt pulling one. 
This video is legit real, nothing staged about it. Debunking, ha ha ha. You can't debunk something by just watching it or watching something and express your opinion. Oh, it's fake, debunked. I didn't do that in the video, by the way. You've been kidding me. You're just speculating, speculate. There was no speculating in that video. Go watch the video. Just, you know, to look with your eyes, to debunk something, you have to repeat the same process and prove otherwise. That's, that nonsense is not present. D, remove bunk equals nonsense. I don't want you to talk about Other than that, you're like everyone else, judging it from afar, lacking experience. Get off your chair and go out to debunk things, then you'll get the respect that you deserve. So I answered. So hold on, you can't debunk something by seeing the clear as day edits and masking effects, which they are there, and they are bloody there. But you can categorically say it's real by guess what? Looking at it! I don't have a mic. Mic drop! <laughs> So he's basically saying, I can't debunk something by looking at it, but he can say it's 100% re legit real just by looking at it. Where's the sense in that? Where's the sense in that comment? And the other thing I want to cover, because I, I have this, co this said to me quite a few times, and I do answer them as much as I can, but where he says, he or she, I do apologise, um, to debunk something, you have to repeat the same process and prove otherwise. That's just simply not true. To debunk something, you have to do it once. Once. The, the repeat the same process and prove other, uh, not prove otherwise, but the repeating the same process, process comes to experimentation. In science, if you discovered the radius of the Earth back in the old days, and that, that, this was an experiment which was done, and the way you did it, I don't know, I'm not going to look into how it's done, right? More intelligent people did it. But if you discovered the radius of the Earth, and you said it was 26 and a half thousand miles in radius. Now that's just a random number, right? But say you said it was 26 and a half thousand miles in radius. You would then have to prove over and over and over how you came to that number. Because if you do the experiment and it turns out it's 26 and a half thousand miles in radius, but then you do the experiment, the exact same experiment again, but it turns out it's three and a half thousand miles, four thousand miles, which I think is what it is. Then obviously that's a failed experiment. So you'd have to make that experiment repeat itself. Every single time you do the same thing, it would have to come out with the same number. That's the process of scientific experimentation and the point you're saying where you have to repeat the same process. When it comes to debunking, that's not true. If you want, if you debunk something, if you say, no, he's using bloody white, uh, smoke and mirrors, that's it. You've done it. You don't, need to, you don't need to constantly tell everyone, he's using smoke and mirrors. And then tomorrow say, he's using smoke and mirrors. And then on the Thursday and the Friday, he's using smoke and mirrors. No, it's not It's not the same. I get that said to me quite a lot. You have to repeat the process. No, you don't. Debunking, you can do it once. Scientific experimentation, that's what you have to repeat the process over. But anyway, <laughs> and I'm not having a go at you, JLo, if you ever see this. I just think, you know, that comment is a bit off. So I answered you. Like I said, if, if I can't say... It's bullshit just by watching something, even though I point this stuff out. Then you can't tell me this is 100% legit real just by watching it. I'm just saying. But anyway. So that was reading the comments. I don't know what I'm going to call this episode yet. I enjoyed it. And like I said, there are a lot of other comments I actually want to get to, which I will get to. And it'll be a part two of this sometime in the next couple of days. And... I'm hoping to do a live stream soon as well. I haven't done one for about a week or two now, so I'm, I'm itching to do one, hopefully on the weekend. But yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do this quite often. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.